Hey folks, welcome back to another video on code smells. Code smells are the things that you put into your code that make other people not like your code. So they're things that can make your code hard to read, understand, or modify. If you're interested in my other code smell videos, there's a link down in the description. I'll probably post a few more before we're done. Uh, but today I want to talk about comments. Comments are the kind of thing that most students think of as a positive. So you're, you're told as a student that you should comment your code to make your code easier to read. So, so today I'm going to modify that advice a bit. Comments are just texts that are in your program, but that don't get compiled and don't get executed. They're not part of the program, they're just they're in there to help the person watching better understand what you're up to. So most good code has some comments in it, but adding more comments to your code is not always helpful. And this is what I want to talk about today. The code smell for today is, is having too few comments or way too many. Comments aren't essentially good or bad. It's how you use them. Often I see student code that has no comments. Student code also tends to not be very readable. When you combine code that's confusing, poorly named variables and functions with no comments, you end up with a reader that's hopelessly lost. On the other hand, too many comments can also be a problem. So for example, this code right here is problematic because it's named incoherently. So the code isn't very readable without comments. So comments exist to make code more readable. Comments do not exist to compensate for bad coding style. This is where the code smell comes in. When you write code, your first priority should be to write code that's easy to understand. Code that is well named, easy to understand, that has a coherent flow, that doesn't repeat itself. Yeah, good code needs very few comments. Because when you read the code, it's clear what it does. It's obvious. Code that is obfuscated and messy, even with comments, it's still going to be messy. And so you don't want to compensate for bad coding style with comments. That said, occasionally in your code, there are things that are a little tricky. You had to do something just because the system you're working on required this hack. You couldn't find a clear way to do it. You're trying to warn whoever reads your code next that this isn't something you're happy with and they may want to try to find a better way around it. That's a great place for comments. What about too many comments? So people sometimes get really excited about comments. Especially corporate style guides sometimes do this, where they mandate big, massive comments with all the preconditions and postconditions and full text descriptions of every function in the code. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can, it can often help with systems like Doxygen for auto-generating uh, documentation. The problem with really heavy commenting is that you have to make sure that it stays up to date. That becomes something else that you have to maintain. Because if your comments get out of sync with your code, if you change code but you don't update the comments, then the comments are actually worse than not having them at all because the person reading your code is going to think your code does one thing when in fact it does something else. Adding a lot of comments to your code is not necessarily a bad thing, but just keep in mind that that's something that you're going to have to maintain. Comments are part of the program. They're part of the communication between the programmer and other programmers or whatever the audience is, whoever's reading the code, and so it's not free. If you're going to add those comments, make sure it's something you're committed to keeping up. And either way, your focus should always be on making code that is as readable as possible so that the code more or less documents itself. So someone reading your code has very few questions. So that's all I have for today. Until next time, I'll see you later. If you're enjoying these videos, if you find them useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post regularly. I try to post at least one a week. If there are more things you'd like to see that I haven't posted, more how-tos, more technical questions, please leave comments and questions. Please send me email, uh, however you want to get a hold of me. Just let me know what you'd like me to make, and as I have time, I'll, I'll see what I can do.